Well, hello, welcome back to another vlog. This week is a bit of an exciting vlog. Today, I'm actually gonna be doing a seed unboxing or a seed haul. Shout out to Pine Tree Garden Seeds for actually sending me these seeds. Uh, their website is superseeds.com. They are a Maine-based company in New Gloucester, Maine, so they're not too far from me. I am just so excited to try out their seeds and see what they put inside. I have no idea. So it's gonna be just a surprise to you as it is to me. I think it's time to unbox some of these nifty gifties from Pine Tree Garden Seeds. This is like Christmas. They're speaking my language. Oh, happy gardening. That is so sweet. Love this. What? Oh my gosh. What? My lord. Okay. <laughs> and there is a little card. <laughs> oh gosh. I can't get emotional on camera, but I probably will. That is so sweet. Runner Bean Painted Lady. Okay. Here, let me, I may have to switch. Ooh, kale, dazzling blue, carrot, deep purple, yum. We have broccoli, bunching onion, spinach seaside, oh, love. Cauliflower, sunflower, Italian white, bush bean, red swan, Zinnia Queenie Red Lime. Oh, I love zinnias. Another Zinnia Oklahoma Formula Mix. I'm gonna butcher this. Acalia. Acalia Summer Pastels. I'll have to look that up. Lettuce Blushed Butter Oak. Oh, yum. Yum, yum, yum. I, guys, there's more seeds. <laughs> <laughs> there are more seeds. How incredibly generous. <gasps> Snap peas. I love peas. Okay. Snap peas. Centraria. Ooh. Okay. Basil. Yum. Oh my gosh. Asters. Love. This is gonna be the first year that I'm growing asters for cut flowers. Actually, a lot of a lot of um, the flowers I'm gonna, I'm gonna be growing this year are gonna be new for me for cut flowers, so I'm so excited. And I can't wait to add these to the mix as well. So we have another aster. I love that. Calendula. Ooh, and you know, I'm also excited to use, so like calendula, for example, I'm excited to use this for solves. I wanna make a solve. I really want to try and dry some of my flowers or use use the plants for multi-purpose. So not just for like a cutting flower, but for medicinal purposes or uh, yeah, using it for multi-purpose. So love that. Oh. Is, what cute seed packets. I love these. Dahlias. Woo! Foxgloves. I love, oh gosh. <laughs> I am getting so excited that I feel like I'm just, the blood is rushing to my face. Scabiosa. I love. Is that the Imperial mix? Yep. La poppies. Here we go. Let's focus. And this is California mix. Oh my goodness. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at this card. The blue fairies. <laughs> Pearl wants to garden as well. What? Friends at Pine Tree Garden Seeds. And look, it's signed. Oh, that is so sweet. That's like the sweetest thing ever. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I'm going to cherish this forever. I'm reading a, another note that they put in here. <laughs> I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna read this. <laughs> How beautiful. Okay. So they also included a letter and shout out to Jackie and Gwen for giving me all these nifty, gifty, beautiful, wonderful seeds and the card. Oh, I'm so touched. So thank you. And so a little bit about Pine Tree. So they said our entire operation is out of a charming 1700s farmhouse in Maine. Love that. Uh, I don't think I've ever shared before, but I grew up on an old farmhouse in Maine. So I have an extremely soft spot for old, things old, vintage, and particularly, I love old farmhouses because they remind me of my childhood. We have a small but mighty staff made up of some of the best people on the planet. Well, I can already tell. <laughs> we hand pack our seeds and also hand pick and ship our customer orders. We are a woman owned small business going on our 45th year. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. With a mission of supporting the needs of the home gardener. Oh. Okay, if that doesn't show you how amazing this company is, I so am appreciative. Thank you so much. I can't wait to start sewing these this week, so I'll share a bit of that. And then I'm gonna take you along the growing process with these this year. So we are gonna, we are gonna try out these seeds and bring you along with me for the process. Thank you so much. I. I'm just blown away. So, yes, thank you. Okay, so it's already been an amazing week to begin with, and it's only Monday. It's a new day. I am off this morning to get some more potting soil because I'm going to bump up some more seedlings and then start the new seeds, a bunch of new seeds that I got that I just showed you. Got a few errands to run. Today's really the only day of the week. I think that I'll be able to get into the garden and do a little work. So first things first, I got to run some errands and then we're going to go in the garden to do some pruning and fertilizing. <laughs> outside it is a gorgeous day today the sun is shining and if you're standing in the sun it feels nice and warm but if you're in the shade it's getting a little bit cold I'm just taking a little gander around the backyard and seeing some of the things that I'm hoping to do today mainly my goal is to fertilize all of my evergreens today I have some wood ash that my neighbor gave me a few years ago actually that I've been using the past couple of years to sprinkle in and around my my plants along with some plant tone, espoma plant tone and I'm just trying to give them a good uh, feeding as they're waking up for spring. So my goal is to do that today and then go around and prune anything I haven't had a chance to yet. And I do have a rose left to prune as well. And I think some lavender. So I'm just gonna go through, see what we gotta do and get to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
how I'm going to be pruning these roses. See how there's there's no there's no thorns on this rose. That is just awesome. Makes pruning a breeze. So I am looking to see where these buds right here are pointing. So this one right here is pointing back that way. This one right here is pointing towards me. So I'm going to have this tied right, whoops, right onto this bamboo stake here. So I want to encourage it to either go up this way or across the fence. So I'm seeing that I kind of like this one right here, how it's pointed up so it will give me some of that vertical growth, but I'll also be able to prune it later at some point to go laterally with the lateral branches. So I think I'm going to make a cut right about here, just above this leaf bud. So that way we can encourage the growth to go upwards. And then I'll be staking it with the Velcro tape, which is soft and gentle, right around here onto the stake. Another reason why I love Velcro tape, interactive tape. Just getting back from visiting the Portland Museum of Art, where they currently have an exhibit that's called Art in Bloom, where they have local Maine floral artisans create a floral arrangement inspired by a certain painting. And it is, it is a beautiful exhibit, as you saw. So I think what I'm going to next do is plant up, whoops. <laughs> I'm going to start some of these seeds that Pine Tree Garden Seeds had gifted me earlier in the video. <laughs> We've got quite a few that we're gonna start. I'm gonna be starting both a bunch of veggies and some flowers. So we'll do about half starting inside, half direct sow. All right, so I'm gonna grab my seed starting mix. My seeds, I've got my potting tray, and we're just gonna get started. planting up all of the flower seeds and the veggie seeds that I'm going to be starting indoors. So check mark that one is done. The other seeds I will be sowing outside. I think I said that. A, primarily because I am limited at the moment with space indoors. And B, I think it'll be cool to kind of have a succession planting of different things out in the garden, things that I started early indoors versus things that I started outdoors. So love that that is all done and everything that I used that I can link, I will have linked below. I think most of the things I got off of Amazon so or at a local garden center. So you could do that as well too, or just check out the links below. If I can't find the exact one, I'll link a dupe. 
All right, that is gonna do it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed this week. I know we were bebopping around a little bit, but I hope you enjoyed it. I think we saw some pretty things today with the art exhibit, and it was really fun to plant some more seeds. So until next time, I will see you later. Sunday kind of love. I've got two songs going in my head at the same time. We have Etta James, Sunday Kind of Love, and then I think I'm singing The Temptations too. Baby love, my baby 